This is calculator question number 36 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board asks about a line that contains the point 0, negative 6 and the point 2, 2, and they want to know the y coordinate of the point on the line that has an x coordinate of 20. Since this is a calculator question, I'm going to use the calculator linear regression feature. And first I'll go to Stat Edit. And under L1 and L2 for list 1 and list 2, I'll put the first point 0, negative 6 with x coordinate in L1, y coordinate in L2, and then the second point 2, 2 with x in L1 and y in L2. And then from here I can go to stat, arrow right to calculate, scroll down on my TI 83 or 84, linear regression is choice 4, x list is L1, y list is L2. I can select store the regression equation in Y1. You can do check your user's manual or internet, internet search on how to do that. Calculate the line of best fit, and it says Y equals 4X plus negative 6. So for the point X equals 20, I can find Y, or if it's entered into Y equals for me, I can scroll down in the table to X equals 20. And my y value is 4 times 20 minus 6, which is 80 minus 6 is 74, is the y coordinate, which is what they're asking for that they're calling w. I can also do this by hand. I wouldn't in the interest of time, but I could. The slope of my line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is my y coordinates are 2 and negative 6. My x coordinates are 2 and 0. So that's 8 over 2 equals 4, which is the slope I found here. My y intercept is given in the question when x equals 0, y equals negative 6. So in y equals mx plus b, I get y equals 4x plus negative 6 which is the same equ equation I found here, and from there I can finish it by hand just as I did before. College Board often asks you about solving a linear equation or writing a linear equation from a word problem, so you're very likely to see this. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.